Hello guys, this is Nature Train, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p and native PS2. We're going to be doing some frame rate testing on hardware and software mode, mainly hardware. And um, on top of that, I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings for uh, Rayman 3 on the PCSX2. We are using large frame buffer, custom resolution of 2560 by 1440. Millennium PS2 and it's called filtering time 16. You do not need MIP mapping on for Rayman 3. Full safest, and I'm using MSAA times 4. I could actually go higher than that, but I don't want to drop frames in this video, so because I'm trying to keep a steady 60 frames because the game targets 60 frames. So I'll show you guys very shortly. This game is very not demanding um, at all. FXAA is on as well, just to blur off the jaggies, um, on top of MSAA, like smoothing it off at the same time. But these are the settings that are appropriate for this game. If you have issues with this game, turn on allow 8-bit texture to speed up the game. But uh, otherwise, here is MTVU. This is a good hack to speed up your, um, your CPU to keep a steady 60 frames for games that target 60 frames. So definitely recommend turning that on for that if you have an inferior PC. But this is definitely not um, recommended on Raymond 3. Since Raymond 3 is extremely undemanding, it's very easy to run on PTSX2. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, look at native PS2 first. Native PS2 uses the 640 by 448 dimensions. Now let's have a quick look at it. So this is what we all used to play on in the resolution for back in the PS2 days on the real PS2. Um, let's have a quick look. So as you guys see, there is loads of shimmering on the red. Uh, if you see over there, um, you see over there, there's a red um, power up. There is loads of shimmer shimmering on that, or you could say jaggies. Same as my character Rayman. He has lots of jaggies on him. Also, the environment has a bit of jaggies as well. The trees. And you've got that guy in front has lots of jaggies. But let's have a quick look at um, 1440p. So with 1440p, it looks a whole lot cleaner. There is no jaggies whatsoever because we've got four, um, four times MSA, MSAA support with FXAA and the, um, the color depth of 1440p. So that really helps out a lot. Steam friend just came online. So let's, um, let's have a look at how the frame rate tests out on Rayman 3. I will also flip back to the other resolutions shortly. Just going to quickly do this. So what you're going to do is this. There we go. All right. So this is what this game looks like at 1440p native. And I mean, it looks fine. The 60 frames, I've got the frame count on the top left, as you see. It doesn't drop at all. And this is even with four times MSAO on. If you have frame rate issues, just pull down MSAA, but otherwise this game is, this is very easy to run. Well, let's go back to native PS2. Um, and as you see, more blurrier, lots, loads of more shimmering, especially when you stand further back, there's loads of more shimmering. Let's just go up here real quick. But other than that, oh. Okay, hold up. So here we go, another guy right there, so there's all the shimmering from him. This game runs a, sta a steady 60 frames on software, but software, it does run worse on PCSX2 than hardware, depending on your hardware. Let's go back to Nature 1440p for the last time. So as you see, looks really clean again, and that's what we want. You're not going to see any draggies at this game, so it's just a straight up great picture. Uh, an amazing game with a great picture as I meant and yeah you're gonna have a fun time with this game so this is resolution comparisons for Raymond 3 hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later thank you for watching